Hey friends, Tux here. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Mubom who sent me this Mubom A8 Mechanical Feel Gaming Keyboard. I don't know what to expect about this, but I have had requests from people to review this product, so I want to say a big thank you for them supplying me with one. And if you are the maker, manufacturer, or seller of keyboards, mice, or other gaming equipment, please give me a little reach out and I'd love to review your product here on Tux Reviews. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this box. Okay, as far as the packaging goes, the one I was sent was actually kind of an OEM. It has a little bit of print on here, a little bit of information, but because this was a demo version, they may actually have a different retail packaging to it. This can be purchased on Amazon as well as other retailers. So if the box is different, don't be surprised, but just look for the Maboom A8 Mechanical Field Gaming Keyboard, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at the box. On the back here, there's a little bit of barcode information. Here, we'll flip this around and show you the barcode real quick. You can pause that if you need to or scan it if you will and on the front here just have a few features super cool three color backlight strong compact resistant and durable ergonomic suspension design easy to operate and anti-skid waterproof design this keyboard on Amazon I want to say retails for about $20 but again it may differ in price depending upon vendor um, I've heard some people say they got this on eBay I've heard some people say they've gotten this at cons on like little gaming booths that kind of thing and I've heard some people say they really love this keyboard so I'm excited to go ahead and open this up. Um, let's see what we have in here. I am a fan of mechanical keyboards, so uh, when it says mechanical feel, I don't really know what to expect of that. Maybe it just means it has a clicky sound to it, but not really mechanical, I guess. Uh, we will find out together. Go ahead and open this up, and it looks like this is a very thin, uh, like height-wise keyboard. We'll pull this out. It looks like there's a little bit of instruction here. Um, let's take a look here before we dive into the keyboard itself. There's a very thin little piece of paper here with keyboard instructions, uh, basically informing you not to spill liquid on the keyboard. That makes sense. Uh, like juice, water, that kind of thing. Okay, I'm glad they clarified. Uh, no collusion. Uh, do not touch keyboard with wet hands. Uh, do not pit board in sunlight. A lot of little disclaimers. You can pause that and read that if you like. And on the inside is basically the same thing in Chinese and stuff. Um, on the back here, there is some instruction. Now, this is kind of important. Here, pause this if you want. You can zoom in, and you can see there's commands for doing different types of things on the keyboard, including some lighting information, okay? So basically, function plus pause equals breathe function. Uh, function plus scroll key is light change. And then function plus... Uh, the P-R-T-S-C-R key is change colors under breathe mode, okay? So quite a few different things. There's brightness, controls, lots of good stuff. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the keyboard itself. It does come in like an anti-static bag, which is a nice touch. And pulling this off, this is a very long keyboard, actually. Um, interesting. First, we'll go ahead and talk about the cord. Let's see here. The cord itself is plastic. It does feel durable, although I wish it was a braided cord. If you guys follow my keyboard reviews, you know I'm really into braided cords, and this cord is not braided. Um, it does feel like a good quality to it, though. Um, it does have a good little, on the end here, kind of an anti-tear uh, piece. So I think this is durable. I don't think this will fall apart. The end feels like it's heavy plastic, which will be good from bending and breaking. It should be okay. Um, although I really wish this was actually um, a braided cord as opposed to a non-braided cord. There's a plastic if you want to look at that so one USB connector okay pushing this back here we'll get this out of the way actually and let's see the keyboard itself on the bottom here it has kind of a brushed metal look this isn't brushed metal but you can see it kind of looks brushed metal which is a nice touch it does have some anti-slip right here and right here it doesn't feel real rubbery though I'll be honest with you guys it feels is this plastic no it's it's rubber but it's not real anti-slip um, maybe it is more anti-slip than it feels but it kind of like, if you want to take a look at that there, it's just like a little piece of like kind of rubber, um, but it doesn't feel the most anti-slip in the world to me anyway. Okay, I'm sorry to say. Um, the actual keyboard itself has a cool look to it. I'm digging the whole, you know, raised key look to it. It's got the Miboom uh, little logo thing here, real, good, real nice, real sporty. Uh, we'll pull off the little cover here. Okay, there we go. And that makes this shine just a little bit more. You can see it's kind of a high gloss plastic right there. The keys themselves are kind of a matte black plastic with a little bit of texture to them so you can kind of feel them. Now it says this like mechanical feel. Um, you can hear the clicking there. I don't know if it really feels mechanical to me. It feels good. I do like the feel of it and I like the raised keys like this style of keyboard I do like a lot too. Uh, the keys have a good springiness to them. Um, I would say it's not true mechanical, but um, I will say it's pretty good quality, actually. I feel like these keys are nice. 
I do like the raised part of it too. Um, I think this is going to glow really pretty too, the fact that the keys are so raised up from the actual keyboard itself. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see what this looks like in the dark. Okay, I have a little bit of light right over here, so you can kind of see the background a little bit. Um, this does have a nice blue color to it. I wouldn't say it's the brightest blue in the world, though. You can change the light um, quality or quantity, I guess, by doing the function and the up-down key. This is the maximum blue brightness. Um, you can do down, you can see you can dim it down to nothing. So I'd say, you know, you can see it. It definitely helps in the dark, but it's not going to be like overbearing where it's blinding you with light necessarily. Now, there are some options here just to show you a couple real, real quick. If you do function and I want to say is scroll lock here, you can see you can change it to red. I do like the red. That's actually pretty good looking. That's a nice looking red. Nice and deep to it. Um, let's see if we can try and go through the other colors. There's kind of a, a pinkish color. Looks good. I'm definitely digging that too. And let's see here, what else we got? And that goes back to blue. And if you do this, it actually does create like a breathing effect. See the breathing, it kind of cycles through the different colors in breathing. Let me get a little close up here so you can kind of get a good look at this. As you can see, it's, it's not really the brightest keyboard in the world. I think the red looks good. I don't know if this is going to look as good on camera as it does here in the room, but I wish, if anything, I just wish it was a little bit brighter. It's pretty, but this could use a little bit more power to really make it like glow. Um, I'd say the pink color is kind of the brightest color, but um, in general, I don't think I want to use pink, at least on my keyboard, you know. No offense to people who like pink. I like pink too, but I just um, it's not a color I usually have my keyboard going. So anyway, that is it. Let's go ahead and turn the lights back on. To recap, this has been the Maboom keyboard, and this is purchasable on Amazon. Now, the pros and cons of this keyboard, my take of it, the pros, it's not very expensive at all, guys. It does have a nice mechanical feel to it, even though it's not really a mechanical keyboard, or so it says. And I'd have to look further into the details of the type of keys it has, but they do look like mechanical keys, and they do have a good amount of springiness to them, but I would say it doesn't have a quite exactly the feel of a real mechanical keyboard, but it definitely has more of a mechanical feel than a lot of the other non-mechanical keyboards, if that makes any kind of sense. It's like a pseudo-mechanical keyboard. I get why they say that. Um, the lighting itself, it does have a pro of having three different colors to choose from, and it's also a pro that you can make it do like a breathing effect, and there's some other like functionality to these keys, like email and sound and that kind of thing. Even though it doesn't have dedicated keys for like email or volume up, volume down, these buttons, the F buttons, do double as other functions like checking emails or muting or increasing volume or changing color that kind of thing or playing media that kind of thing so it's a good full function keyboard for the price and the price again is not that expensive you know this is about 20 bucks is the price that i've seen this amazon but you may be able to find this for different prices from different vendors too um but i would say for just a low cost good entry level keyboard give it a try you know i think it's good looking it's that nice that it actually has this a lot of the cheaper keyboards that have mechanical feel do not they cut this part of the keyboard off and i'll i have to admit sometimes if i'm like bidding on blizzcon tickets real fast or whatever i miss not having a keyboard on this side like this you know there is a downside to having a shorter mechanical keyboard so this might actually be really good for things when you you really want those buttons over here you know for bidding on things on ebay or credit cards or blizzcon tickets or things like that where you need to enter a credit card quickly you know so anyway guys that is it as far as cons go i do wish it did have a braided cord that is a touch i always look for in keyboards um, i do wish the brightness went a little bit brighter you know uh, i wish it was like blinding me with light and it's it's not quite there it looks good and it does get brighter you know than some keyboards but i wish it was just a little bit brighter you know uh, but besides that i'd say you know it's definitely worth giving a try if you guys have any questions about this maboom keyboard let me know here in the comments below and again i want to thank maboom for saying this to me i'd say for the value for the price it's a good value you know it's a good entry level keyboard for someone who wants to get into gaming they want something that lights up they want something that has a mechanical feel but not necessarily the full expensive mechanical price because again this is like one-fifth the price of the cheapest mechanical keyboards you know that you see in game stores like GameStop or whatever, like Razors or whatever. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Again, if you have any questions, be sure and shout them out to me. Um, send me an email or put comments down below here. And if you like this video, be sure and give it a big thumbs up, okay? <laughs> All right, friends. Be sure and check out Tux Toys, my toy channel. Be sure and check out this channel, Tux Reviews, on Instagram and Twitter for slice lolly photos. I might even have some photos of the keyboard in action, okay? And then, of course, Tux Toys has its own independent 
Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all those social medias. And I do have a beta gaming channel called Gamer Tux, okay? I'm going to try this, okay? And I'm going to play some Overwatch tonight, some World of Warcraft, and maybe I might even do some old Command & Conquer, some retro game, and see how it feels with that. And if I need to, I may make actually a follow-up video to this or put some additional comments down below. So be sure and check back, all right? All right, friends. Thanks for checking this out. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.